Could you just, just do fucking Tony. whack what my you... top of my teeth with a fucking spoon? What do you think? Oh my god. The oh, absolute that. timing for the countdown of the video this to start kid. to Tony going, I just whacked the roof of my mouth with a spoon. I don't know how we managed to have beautiful intros like this, but hello everybody. Uh, welcome back to Late Night Lounge. Uh, it's been a little bit, not too horribly long, but we're uh, we're being a little bit lazy. We're, we're back as always, just the three stooges today. Uh, as always, I'm Lucas here with Matt and Tony. Um... Boys, how have we been? I'm enjoying this bomb-ass ice cream. I'm not going to lie. You literally have an entire carton, huh? Hey, don't call me out like this, bro. Come on. Is is it sad boy hours, Tony? Oh, fuck off. No. Are you sure? Dude, today's been my entire, like, cheat day. I've had work for fucking... I've had one seven-hour shift and four eight-hour shifts in a goddamn row on top of college classes. Yeah. I feel that. Let the man let the man enjoy his cheat day. He uh, he deserves his ice cream. And then I'm going back to work tomorrow. I've only had one day off. Oh, you know what's funny? I just realized I have pumpkin ice cream in my fridge. Don't grab that. Don't grab it right now, you bitch. Uh, ice cream. Not, epi- right, not right now, but Is maybe it ice later. Cream that's, episode? That's, that's <laughs> real ice cream up AO. Oh, next time, next time we met. Next time we uh, get all together, we should just have like a taste test episode. That'd be funny. <laughs> taste test episode. Yeah. That would be actually kind of funny. Piss Matt. Like, you know those... Have, do you guys... Okay. It's weird, like... Uh, do you guys ever see those, like, blind taste test videos? Yes. Those are interesting. I feel like I would want to try it, but I also feel like I would make an, an absolute fool of myself. I put squid in front of you immediately. You know what's funny is I actually like squid. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, it's not my favorite. And I probably wouldn't be able to notice it if you just, like, blindly fed it to mm-hmm. me. But I wouldn't be opposed to it. That and eel, actually, are not bad. I haven't tried eel. It, if you cook them properly. Unagi, bomb. Hmm. Um, are you guys into sushi at all? I had some, uh, actually, a few you. hours ago. Oh, yeah. Matt, you? Uh, I do like sushi, but you can't have specific rice. ones. I- Wait, can you have rice? I can have rice. That's the main staple of my diet, Tony. Wait, doesn't rice have gluten? Yes. Rice. No, it doesn't. Oh, fuck. Uh, wait, do- T- wait, 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 wait. Pause. What? <laughs> okay, Tony, I want you to explain it to me right now, to my face. Come on. Okay, hear me out. And now we're down Hear to me a out, dips. Now, now we're down to a two-man podcast. Anyways. So anyways... <laughs> So anyways, guys, that's the episode. I think that's the second time I've made that joke two episodes in a row. Yep. God, I'm so funny. Anyways, Matt, <laughs> while Tony has a pair... Oh, Tony's oh, back. It's the mole. Um, so... <laughs> oh, my God. It's called Late Night Lounge for a reason, fellas. We're all uh, we're all delirious. Slightly. Um, anyways, Matt, I'm so... Us has poor eyesight. Totally, totally off topic. <laughs> you actually have stories today. Yes! The the yeah. reoccurring topic, as you coined it, of late night lounge, your uh, your My esports right. career glow up. Yeah, uh, <laughs> talk- more to be honest. I um, don't know, man. He might have you beat at this point. We've had a lot of Rocket League. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> things are you. finally kicking off. Oh, ooh, ooh. we'll have things to Things are finally kicking off. All right, so what, what's what been happening recently then? So for the past couple of months, I have been working on a 18, 18, 18 different schools with 27 different teams playing in a single tournament in a season slash grand finals tournament for a lot of different schools in California. Nice. Yeah, how many starts- schools total is it? 18. Damn. And that's all in Cali? Schools. Yes, all Cali. Damn. So all right. Cal, middle of California, and Northern California. All right, quick, name them, all. name them all. <laughs> uh, give me a sec. Yeah. No, you don't have to. I'm Where kidding. Ah. He's like, I, I have the receipts. <laughs> <laughs> I do have the receipts. <laughs> I do. I have them all. So when is the – so, okay, I know we talked about it very briefly, actually, before we started recording. You have your first game tomorrow already. Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. And how long is it running for? Uh, it's a 
it's a seven week uh, season. Then once okay. we figured that out, that should be like November, like middle or end of November. Then we are not November, uh, October. Okay. Then we should get the grand finals in November. Gotcha. Okay, so that, that's happening pretty fast then, because like yes. we're already midway through September, and it's yes. gonna be done by November. Yup. Damn. All right, and you're gonna somehow do an entire bracket of eighteen schools in that uh, time. Yes. Wow. I uh, I posted it in our uh, public uh, or not public our little group chat, mm-hmm. and those are the first first week uh, games. Okay. Yeah, we have and it on. Oh, I see. Yeah, we have all the the teams for uh, again. Shameless plug for those of you listening on YouTube. I will probably have pictures here somewhere. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's that's week one, and it's I'm so happy just because this has caused so much stress in my life from dealing with all this different kind of stuff. To now, it's finally starting up. Finally happening. Yes, and I am just so happy and so relieved that it's finally starting, and I actually get to play in a tournament of mine. Oh, you get to play in it too. Yeah, I so I'm oh, playing sick. and managing. Damn. Okay. No wonder you've been stressed about it. That you had to be practicing and managing this I mean, whole thing. I, I mean, I'm part of a team, but people ask you, like, "Well, I know, you- but still." Are you playing? And I'm like, yes, I'm a competitor. I'm a competitor manager first. I know that's just that's really I don't know. It, it just it's weird to think that you can do both at the same time. So that's a lot of work, but yeah. But I'm I'm just very very happy for it. Yeah, I'm very glad. I uh, <laughs> I was remarking to Matt when he first joined up on our call here. You joined with like the biggest smile on your face <laughs> into our call here, and I was like, "Something's up. Something's up. <laughs> Something's up. Something's wrong with this man. He shouldn't be this happy." <laughs> no, that's not what I was gonna say. Depressed, so expressive. Depressed. So expressive. no, you can't. Be, you you can't be happy. Go back right. to being sad. <laughs> Fine. Okay, Daft Punk, put your headset on. <laughs> <Get better. laughs> Dude, I love their stuff. I'm so sad they broke up. Side tangent. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Tony, Tony, I just <laughs> I can't get over while <laughs> I can't get over while Matt is like talking about this whole thing. Just seeing Tony slow mo <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> 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 Because like, I was talking about, I went on the, the the section of Daft Punk and Tony laughed and then pulled up a giant thing of ice cream. <laughs> so one thing now. Um, oh how, how much of that did you eat? Like half the container? Oh Bruh. Don't worry, I'm going to work oh. it off when I go to work for four days in a row again. You know, fair enough. I got work tomorrow too, but... <laughs> I just kind of shuffle around most of the time. Lucky hey. fucking you. Um, well, no, I do have to move every once in a while, but, like, the store isn't that big. Like, it's not as big as, like, a rat. What the heck just happened? Did you just Tony, all? Tony, you just, your camera just became a slideshow. That's funny. The second it fell over, your camera just decided to kill itself, so it kind of worked out well. <laughs> That was that was something. <laughs> anyway, wait, wait. you guys want to see my purchases? Oh my god, I sound like a fucking nerd. A what now? You guys want to see what I bought? What did you buy? And, and okay, like context first. What what no, what are we no talking? Context. Okay. All right, all right. One or two. Seven. Uh, two. Back nice. motherfucker. Oh. Oh, you were telling me about this. Did you buy two yeah, of them? Yeah, that's the second dude. <laughs> oh. oh. So the choice of one to two is one or the <laughs> other colored one. Yeah. Thank dude, you. Very so cool. Fucking for fucking. Uh, for audio okay, for audio only listeners, Tony, would you like to describe oh, what yeah. it is? So everyone knows Squishmallows. If you don't, you're a bitch. Um it's <laughs> 
God oh, damn. <laughs> they squishy little things that are basically just, you know, plushies. And they do Halloween ones every year. Like, I finally got the Oogie Boogie yeah. ones. I got my mom a Jack Skellington one as well. Yeah, Oogie Boogie from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. Look, look, look. That's cool. Fuck you. <laughs> don't kill him. He's a fucking dead dead as I Squishmallows, for those who don't know, are just like super soft, like plushy yeah. style stuff, I guess. They're, they're like everywhere now. They're super popular, at least around where we're at. I don't know if that's everywhere, everywhere, but. Yeah, but they're really they're really comfortable. And I, I kind of sleep on them mm-hmm. mainly instead now, instead of my pillows. Yeah, you don't need a pillow anymore. You just got yeah, that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um... God. So. All right, but yeah, so anyways, <laughs> after Tony's ice cream tangent, <laughs> um, so Matt, did you have anything else that you uh, you had no, on your, just, your Rocket just League? Just that, like, cool. just the re- just relief and happiness that I, the tournament is starting tomorrow. I'm, it's a huge event that I started and just everything else is just, just coming together so nicely. It's, it's happening. It is happening. It's good. Um, <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh? <laughs> Matt, I just, uh, I thought you were actually going to scream for a second. I was like, oh my God, Matt's going to peak our audio. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, yep, that did it. There we go. <laughs> One tiny, like. Uh, oh, I did my hair. The, the tiny squeak. Yeah, I did my hair differently now, and it's fucking weird. What'd you do different? I just part the part like right here instead, <laughs> and that's it. Oh, so you're not doing the middle part? You're doing like the side. I did it part. on accident today because I was in a rush to get stuff done so I could get on Minecraft. A, a side side part. And like it's out. turned out okay. Like, ah, wait, hold up. Your hair uh, just keeps moment. getting longer and longer. <laughs> like it's turned out alright, but like overall, I'm kind of gonna go back to middle part immediately. <laughs> You don't like it that way? Uh, I just, I'm used to middle part now, so I might change it up and do uh, opposite part, see how the fuck that looks. Evil Tony coming in, and then... Tony hey, yo, nice boy. chapstick, Tony. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Dude, my lips have been <laughs> fucked for the past chapstick. few days. It sucked. Chapstick? Dude, I mean, same. Plus, uh, I mean, non-disclosure, but, like, medicine I take dries me the hell out. Uh, so I literally have to have chapstick on me, like, constantly, because, like, every half an hour to an hour i need it so it's it's kind of insane i have it like in my pocket in my backpack in my desk room all like dude i carry fucking i carry the good shit i carry aquaphor on me oh damn you're mean business that wasn't even look one of my friends like ray was like you should get this when i my lips got really trapped i was like why i like do it and i did it (laughs) <laughs> they, they, they were insistent. There, Got it. It's there is no fucking, negotiation. It, Just it's get it. Actually, amazing. Doesn't taste like cherry, but it it helps. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyways, oh, I'm dude. complaining about work now. <laughs> okay. All right. Topic cut. Tony, go. Okay. So basically, <laughs> uh, a little quick rundown. I have classes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's how it goes. Um, mm-hmm. my work schedule for this week was 39 hours total. Holy shit! <laughs> um, thirty nine, yeah, thirty nine hours total, and you're and you're doing full time classes. Yeah. <laughs> Tony, you're doing the thing I did my freshman year of college. Stop. Dude, it, fucking, it actually wasn't that bad, Stop. but it kind of hurt. Like first Monday was a three to se- uh, three to ten shift, don't, don't so it was only it. seven don't, hours. Don't, don't but do the it. other four have been three to elevens. Mm. And. W- yeah, we close at eleven. So I. Uh, Is that what you, you said you were starting work at three tomorrow? Are you doing a three to eleven tomorrow? <laughs> oh, you know how much money I'm going to make from this? I'm suddenly very though? glad that I close at nine. Dude, <laughs> fucking true. Look, man, it's honestly like it's a good trade off, I guess, because I get a lot of money out of this. I'm getting like four hundred for this week that alone. But, I mean, mm. still, I'm in college. I have college classes. Yeah. I probably have a discussion board I have to do by tomorrow. And it's like... Dude, dude. I've I've got two assignments due tomorrow night that are not done. <laughs> dude, uh, I thought I had an essay I due. Um, I thought I had an essay due a few days ago. Turns out it's due in like two weeks, mm. but I was freaking the fuck out because it was the night before and I was stuck going to work. 
Nice. And I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. And I got home and it was like 11. And I was like, fuck this. And I, I went to sleep, woke up, went to class. And he was like, oh, oh yeah, I was there for that. Yeah, you jumped into call for a little bit and we're talking yeah, about it. I was it. like, oh, this is so fuck. And then I went to sleep. I was like, fuck. Nah. But yeah, I mean, work it, work is honestly, it's not hard. It's just, it tires you out, dude, so quickly. Because I work at a grocery yeah. store and it's I'm just, a clerk. It's more mentally tiring, I'm, in my opinion, than actually physically. Yeah. Especially because, like, we're both working retail, so I mean, it's not really that physically intensive. the The most physically intensive thing I do for my job is having to lift gaming computers off of top shelves because those things weigh too much. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I mean, the most physically intensive that thing I do is lift like sixty pounds, sixty pound dog food, and that's it. Yeah, it's not even heavy. It's just fucking like oh, unwieldy. Side tangent, Matt. What's up? What, when are you done with your um, your pump it up <laughs> job again? Is uh, it October now? It, okay, we, so we, di- we discussed it once before. Yes, but I, f- I only work weekends for pump it up just because okay. they wanted me to be uh, comfortable for my last week month. Uh-huh. So officially, I have three days left. Oh, nice! We're almost there. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to remind my boss saying, like, hey, uh, I've enjoyed my time here, but after this next weekend, I am done. Mm -hmm. And try to to ask me to stay. Nah, Nah. I'm not staying. Yeah, I'm sorry. Not happening. Yeah. That's got to be a relief, though, because then you can focus on, like, your your other stuff more. (laughs) Yup. Yeah. freedom or at least a little bit more freedom so mm-hmm. anyway sorry tony didn't mean to steal your oh, spotlight no, just I dawned on me i was like wait a minute i get to sleep in on the weekends yes bless <laughs> god i, w- I mean yeah honestly I, sleeping is so nice matt's fro- froze for me there for a moment that was worrying um <laughs> but like yeah i mean it's just our cameras like to do yeah, that it's just like, <laughs> happens to the best of us i was just fucking tired like lucas you could hear it in my uh-huh. voice when i was in call and stuff Oh, it yeah. was it was great. I like got home one night and Grammy's just like you, ooh, go to sleep. <laughs> and you when look like when you that. have an old person telling you to go to sleep, that's when you know that it was bad. <laughs> like mm-hmm. they're like oh. <laughs> so I, I mean, honestly, I'm I'm getting used to it. It's actually kind of a good schedule for me because this upcoming week's so nice because I only have I work Monday. Um, uh, I work Sunday, Monday, and then I have Tuesday, Wednesday open, so I can actually go to Cyberpunk this week, L- Lucas. Let's actually hope everyone else can make the it. The only <laughs> issue is, is I can't run my own fucking campaign because I have Thursday and Friday, 3 to 11. Bruh. Dude, because of the start of the school year, so many of our D&D sessions have just not happened. They've run for to like, a hold, bro. Like, like, almost literally all of them. Yeah. Like... We the last time we ran your session was like two or three weeks Almost ago. Same with same with Lauren. She did like one session and then we haven't touched it since. Cyberpunk's been delayed two weeks in a row now, so it's just like it's like fuck. Yeah, because there's it, well, they, yeah, I mean, okay, we'll be able to have Lauren's hopefully though this Tuesday, um, and then mm. yours this Wednesday, and then let's, let's hope I'm so because my hands up in the air, being like fuck with my session. Never, yeah. I don't know. I just want to be able to finish Cyberpunk because in the way I'm estimating it right now, we probably only have one or two sessions left in this arc. So I really just want to get this story done done because not because I want to like be done with it. I just want to not leave you guys on an eternal cliffhanger. That's just like, huh? No. That's fair. I mean, I'm just waiting for your next campaign to start up, which has to, which we have to wait for, you know, Cyberpunk to end for that. Yeah, exactly. That too. Um, now, the earliest I would start is like winter break, probably because there's no damn way I'm going to start a new session in the middle of school. Nah. Yeah. Um, considering the other like four campaigns that people are running right now. So, yeah. anyways, um, side tangent. Yeah, but like, God, I'm, I'm just, I'm on a side tangent machine. Lucas today. is talking. It's actually great. Like, it's my turn to talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn. God damn it, Tony. Shut your damn mouth. <laughs> um oh my god like yeah i mean i've also um i got a new car for those of you oh who 
I did not I didn't know. know. I got uh, like my grandparents were like, "Hey, fucker, you're getting out of bed at this time, and we're going to go look at a car." Um, oh, you actually told me about that, but I never heard the like the result. The of The result. It. It's a Nissan Sentra 2008. Um, okay. only had ninety nine thousand nice. miles on it. Uh, for a 2008. Yeah, Damn. and it's. Uh, I mean, I bought it. We bought it for a uh, forty eight hundred. Which is really for context. My my car is one year older and has about double the miles yeah. on it. So, wait, how many how many miles, Tony? Uh, only ninety. Is I think currently it has ninety nine two hundred and fifty thousand. So almost a hundred thousand. Yeah, almost hundred thousand. I <laughs> when I got my my current car, I, it was a twenty eighteen, and mm-hmm. it only had like twenty two thousand miles. On God it. So damn. Nice. It was so nice. I mean, and, gra- and granted, since it was such a new car, I had to pay a little bit more for it. But I only got I got it for 20, 20k. That's a lot, my guy. Twenty thousand, motherfucker. Like, Damn. My, my parents paid fifty, and my grandparents paid five. Okay. And I, now I'm paying off my grandparents for it. Nice. Okay. Gotcha. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, yeah. Mine was forty. Yeah, mine. Nice mine was a graduation gift. They're like, hey, dude. Yeah. We also. Oh, they, they were. They were like, damn, dude. You need to stop using our Volt. So you're getting a car. Because <laughs> I kept on like, constantly I, using my grandma's car. So uh-huh. they're just like, you fucker, you're using it too much. Get a car now <laughs> and bought the car. I, I was honestly really lucky because around the time that uh, I finished getting my driver's license was also around the time that my mom wanted to get a new car. So because my car's a 2007, mm-hmm. so it's showing a little bit of its age now. I mean, it's, it's not a bad car. Oh, don't no, get me wrong. Nice car. Um, but um, it, it was kind of perfect because that car became mine and then my mom got a new car so i paid for basically mostly just the maintenance for it which is awesome Mm -hmm. so uh, and i'm going to try to keep it running as damn long as i can because i really don't want to have to buy a new car (laughs) yeah i mean not that i can't afford it but it's a lot of money to drop yeah on something that i really don't want to have to buy if i don't need to I mean, with my car, it was just kind of like, oh, yeah, we bought it from the dude. Um, I got pulled over in it, like, the day after we bought it. Because, hey, it wasn't even, so, like, I wasn't speeding or any shit like that. It was just, you it was just the fact that I didn't have plates on it yet because I had to get it registered. Oh, okay. And they pulled me over and, like, hey, you know your car isn't registered, right? I was like, officer, that's why I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm here. <laughs> I was like, and he's like, uh, and like, so basically he just pulled me over. It was pretty nice. They were pretty chilling. They told me they could have given me a citation because I didn't pull over quick enough. It's like, mm. it's a bit like, I get, I get it. But like, also there was traffic and I did not want to pull over immediately. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, they're just pretty chill. Honestly, cops aren't bad. Like they chilled out. They were just kind of going, Hey, mm-hmm. give us your shit. We'll check it. Then we'll have you on your way. Um, they pulled, Hey, it was pretty funny when I drove through the neighborhood, I'm pretty sure do, pulling a UE in the middle of the street in a neighborhood's illegal. I'm not sure, but they did that. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. I've, uh, I've been very lucky. I've actually never gotten pulled over really? um, in the amount of time I've been driving. I think I got really close once. Because I borderline ran a red light. Like, you know those moments when you barely get into the intersection Uh and then the light turns red? I've done that like three times now. So I I borderline run a red light doing a left-hand turn. And it's night, so I can't really see that well. But as I turn, the person that was across the way making a right-hand turn, right? So, like, I'm making the left person across the way is making a right right behind Mm -hmm. me. I see them turn. And their headlights hit my mirrors, and it's a it's a police SUV, <laughs> like you know, like the ones that have like the big badges on the side. Yeah. And I, dude, I have never felt my heart rate rise <laughs> so quickly because he made the right hand turn almost directly behind me, and I was like, <laughs> uh. <laughs> What's her? Dude, as you know, he dead ass saw me almost run that red light and was like, I'm watching I'm you. I see once. you. 
Don't you dare I'm a, do it again. I, I'm going to pretend like I didn't see that. <laughs> Dude, but yeah, I mean, I also, I find, I, like, my car, it, it takes an aux cord to actually connect my phone to it. So I got my aux cord a few nights ago, and I've been jamming out to, like, my car cartoons. It's great. Mm. I love driving at night. Blue- driving at night is so nice. I got a Bluetooth adapter for my car. It's nice. Nice. Um. Anyways. So. Dude, but, like, yeah. Car uh, nice. I'm gonna use it to drive to California sure, on like sure. to, uh, like during a break or something. For sure, right. you gotta come back, uh, Matt. Real quick, what car? What car is it that you have? A Jeep. It's 2018. What? Uh, 2018 Jeep Renegade. Told you. Oh, okay. He, I didn't know you had a Jeep. He does a. Why do I? Why you were in know? my car. You've been in his car. Yeah, like I know. This. Why did? Why did? I know. I was gonna say why did that not cross my mind? Anyways, like. <laughs> um. <laughs> he says anyways as he tries to avoid talking about the. <laughs> No, no, it's just I don't know why it didn't uh, it didn't register that I, I didn't remember. I guess I've all you do uh, yeah, that's fair. But like, yeah, I just I've, I'm 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 vibing in my car. I love driving the thing. It it likes to like it likes to rev a lot whenever I put my foot down on the gas. It's so funny because it's such man learns how gas pedal works. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Car revs when gas is pressed. Shut the fuck up. It's like when, like even if I put the tiniest amount, it revs super loudly. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, yeah. why? And then I just was. No, I feel you. My yeah. same. I, you know what? I I like in the middle of the night when I was driving back from work, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. And then I pushed my foot all the way down. <laughs> it just went, it was a 55. Okay. It was a 55 zone. And I was going like 20 uh, at the start of it because it was the pre- previous speed limit. And then I put my foot down in like five seconds. I'm already at 55, almost at 60. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Not doing that again. Oh, no. I've done it like twice since. Oh, I, I'm not surprised, I guess. It's so fun. You just, you see the number go up and it's like, ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, number go up. <laughs> I don't exceed spend speed limits, though. I make sure not to do that. On freeways, though, it's free game. I've had, like, I've had people cut me off while I'm trying to move lanes. You know how annoying that is? That's mm. so annoying. I've had a person behind me honk their horn because I, I was lane changing as they were lane changing. So they almost clipped me. And it wasn't even my fault. I was lane changing perfectly legal. And they were just like, fuck you. No. Yeah. Anyways, on to my second subject, Minecraft. I've been playing a lot of that recently. Now. <laughs> Recurring topic number two. <laughs> uh, sure. What? Okay. Sure. 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 Enlighten well, us. Yeah, I mean, I, I, Mars and Tyson opened up a realm for like a lot of their friends to play on. And I was like, fuck yeah. Mm. And I've been, I, they spawned me in hell. They they what? put me in the nether because I was too powerful. Is the, is the, you literally got sent to Brazil in Minecraft? Yeah, they they they're like, can we put you in hell? I was like, yeah, and then they did it, and I was like, oh okay, um, shit. That well, that happened. And then someone freed me, and then and then like the next chat message is just, uh, Tosca. I hope you know what you've done. You've released a demon <laughs> from like two of them, and it was pretty funny. They're treating you like you're some kind of elder god, like you got released from your prison. You're like, finally, um, I can reenact my vengeance on the world. Yeah, Lucas, I mean, I've played maybe a total of five hours on the Minecraft server or realm. I have I have defeated the Under Dragon. I have two Elytros. I have a Mob Grinder functional. In five hours? Yeah. Probably five or six. Probably closer to six. Wow. Impressive. And I know how to duplicate shulkers now. So I'm going to be doing that. Speed running. It's just fun. Because I get those out of the way and then I start doing my massive builds. And we're doing weird, like we have characters and stuff that we can film our builds off of. And my character is just like a little clockwork automaton because you've seen my, it's like, like my, my guy's yeah. skin. So I'm just building a massive clock tower in the build area. And then I'm going to build one that's inverted in um, the nether. To make it kind of like look connected. Oh, okay. And That'd be cool. It's going to be fun, yeah. I just got to get villager trades is the thing. And villager trades always take me like four hours to do at the least. Got to go kidnap some villagers. Yeah. I mean, tomorrow morning I'm going to be working on homework. But like I would rather do villager trades, honestly, just to get out of the way. Because it's yeah. villagers, dude. They just suck. <laughs> I also like it's just a, it's just a yeah thing. I mean also the the I was watching a green video and like he was had on smart animations which is what the you know the Minecraft trailers and how they're kind of like how the mobs move and stuff like that in them oh yeah yeah th- that's what smart animations does is it makes it exactly how the mob the trailers does it and it's released by Mojang I okay think. and 
I want to try that, but my computer isn't powerful enough, I don't think. Mm. So, Tony, my plan... When am, when am I buying you computer components? Okay, hear me out, Lucas. I have $300 currently in my wallet that I need, that need that's burning a hole there really fast. Now, I also, with my next paycheck, I'm going to put like 100 of it away, and I should have around 500 total in my checkings. So I'm thinking another okay. week, two, maybe three... I'll be actually able to start buying PC parts. Okay. Um, well, you you actually might be fine waiting a little bit because it, random tech news intervention. Oh. Um, new processors and new graphics cards are coming out before the end of the year. Ooh. So if you wait like probably a month or two, or like a month probably... Mm -hmm. <laughs> If things actually are able to be purchased and in stock, haha, supply shortage funny, um, you might be able to get some pretty good stuff. So Okay. That just means more money to spend on the PC itself but, as well. Hey, I'll keep an eye out for you because I'm literally just surrounded by this stuff, so I will let you nice. know. Nice. Also, uh, really random but related to the car, it takes like $30 to fill up my tank and that's it. Lucky. Yeah. Gas here is three thirty nine a gallon. And I get. I had to fill up today because I had to drive up like, I had to do almost an hour round trip drive. Mm -hmm. Um, my tank costs about fifty bucks to fill. Dude, I have my Kroger card, so it, for per like gallon, I think it currently will cost me like two dollars and ninety cents per gallon because of the Damn, discounts. That's, that's nice. It's so nice, yeah. Like, I'm just flexing on the people who are stuck in California here. Like, I... I mean, yeah, a little sucks. bit. Sucks. stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm stuck in New Mexico where, um, I mean, we, we in my store, we've at least had... We've had two people come in selling stolen phones and... <laughs> cool. Like, a duffel bag filled with stolen phones. Like... Jesus. And then... Oh, I... La just last night actually there was like a big couple fight in the in the parking lot while i was doing carts and like the woman slammed a dude's door a dude's door on his back on his hand i was like damn how yeah I, it was just it's fucking wild out here all the people in my store are really new mexico's nice. built different yeah, all the people in my store are really nice but like damn there's some shit going on dude i am uh yesterday at work was fun because uh Quick up for the people listening. I work tech retail, and as of yesterday when we record this was the day the iPhone 14 launched. Um, and you can imagine people that put in pre-orders are probably going to come in on launch day because they want their shiny new phone, right? We had almost 50 pre-orders. So that is probably 30-ish, 30 to 40 people Plus our normal regular mobile traffic, bruh. That's all I have to say. It's just no. It was not a good time, but I was off today, so I didn't have to deal with day two of that, which is everyone um, else coming in. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, um, anyways, any anything else, Tony? Well, yeah. I mean, um, yeah. I'm just enjoying getting back into Minecraft. My classes are really fun. I'm enjoying my classes a lot, actually. What are you taking right uh, now? Public speaking. Um, a humanities class, which is all about like race and how it, an intro. Hold up, I actually have it pulled up right now. Intro race and ethnicity. Um, I have okay. my I have my um, composition class, which uh, like last class that I had, we played with building blocks for that class. Why? Because our whole goal was to make a structure that was unique and then describe how to put it together. Well, writing writing down basically an instruction list. Are you telling me you got to go to class and literally play with building blocks? Yeah, it was like Duplo building blocks, dude. It was, I have pictures of it. It's great. That's kind of, that's kind of hilarious. I mean, I can't really say shit because I'm in mostly art classes. So I get to go to class and draw stuff and I get credit for yeah, it. Yeah, And so. like, dude, it was pretty fun. I mean, my psychology class is I like, he's a pretty chill dude. Just it's note taking mainly. So there isn't interesting in there really. Mm. Um, but like my public speaking class is just fucking funny. Like a few, <laughs> is it? it is how, okay. cause like the dude's really chill. He, he actually teaches the class. He's like maybe 
at most 10 years older than I am. Oh, okay. he's like actually around the age of the students themselves. So he's kind he knows the lingo. He knows the slang. He is he one of those teachers that gets mistaken for a student? He's actually currently a student as well. Oh, so <laughs> he's both. <laughs> so he is. <laughs> and like, he's really chill. Like, um, he's like, he was late to class by like a whole 30 minutes. And all that we got to like warn us was like an announcement in Brightspace that said, oh, actually, I can pull it up to do verbatim because it's really funny. Like, you, you don't understand. It was this dude was really like, oh, yeah. Uh, hold on. I'm pulling it up one moment. Uh, yeah, worries. Uh, okay. Announcements. Okay. You good, Matt? <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's a lot of things happening right now. Okay. Here, here's the exact right, wording. Whoa. It is two short sentences. Hello, everyone. There was a crash lull on the freeway. Class will be the link today. <laughs> Please tell me he actually put lull yeah, in his announcement. <laughs> hey guys, there's there's kind of a uh, there's kind of an accident on the mile on the freeway. It's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm gonna be late. He showed up with fucking McDonald's that day as well. It was so funny. He he got his self <laughs> McDonald's like, that day. I was like, damn. So you're telling so you're telling me. After going through a crash, he was like, damn, I'm already late anyways. I might as well just go through the drive through <laughs> real quick. They won't know the difference. It was so fucking amazing. I like looked at him and I was like, that that was the day I was just like, damn, he had, respectable. This, this is, is a respectable it. man. This is it. <laughs> he understands priorities. I think the last time I felt that way about a teacher was back in high school. My junior year or junior or senior year physics class i had a professor uh who i will leave unnamed because he doesn't work there anymore but dude was like the chillest guy in the world same kind of situation like probably barely older than the students like a couple years out of his degree at a college type deal Uh so he was like maybe eight to ten years older than us so same kind of thing knew all the slang actively used up-to-date current memes in his lectures <laughs> like not like your teacher put some like cringe meme from like 2011 in their lecture like no he would put like good stuff the time. <laughs> um it, it was great i have pictures of him where i took a video of him running across the class and something happened with my recording where it like stuttered or something in the middle so there's this really funny frame that i cut out of it where it's just his his body is running but his face has duplicated like three times so there's just like three heads and one body just like sprinting across the room and it's really funny yeah but yeah it's dude honestly great teacher it's so funny because like we were all joking about it and like, oh yeah, he probably caused it or some shit. And then he pulled up and it was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do nothing. Dude, when we were doing our, when we were doing our speeches, like the class is really supportive to anyone who's actually doing the public speaking, like for speeches, like everyone's mm. clapping, everyone's like actively interacting and stuff. It's really nice. And like the only hand motion he will give you really is uh, this to tell you to speed it up if you're taking too long. Uh, and like i i was telling the story about how i basically got fucking smashed by a wave in hawaii and he did the motion and i just went oh okay and like why did you <laughs> okay yes continue and like i I've, i word vomited the rest out basically it was like i okay. went right after a dude who was like oh yeah i drowned i was like oh dude similar story what's up <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Did you say you had someone who said they drowned? Yeah, they almost drowned with their father because they went out too uh, too far out or some shit off the beach, and it was pretty funny. Oh. Okay, sorry. I had to find the picture real quick because it was bothering me here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. Oh, my God. <laughs> he looks so ready that? to kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> okay because here was the frame right before it for context before it derped out <laughs> so uh anyways dude absolute banger of a teacher yeah so. like all my teachers are pretty chill people like my composition teacher is a big fantasy nerd um and then we got my fucking uh psychology teacher who's actually just a musician who was like you know what psychology has musical applications and fucking was like, well, music has psycho- psychological applications. It just decided to make that his study. 
Nice. Okay. Respectable. And then my online class, I don't know the person at all, but they're like giving me shit. And I was like, I word vomited on a discussion post about Plessy v. Ferguson. I was like, bro, (laughs) this shit be cringe as fuck. It makes... (laughs) Don't tell me you actually said that in your I did, response. I did. Okay, I did. Dude, I I would lose my shit if on an actual class discussion board I scrolled down to do my two responses and I just saw reply. Yo, this shit cringe as hell. I mean, it was a whole thing. Like, tell him, tell us what Plessy Ferguson did. It was like Plessy Ferguson made a segregation constitutional, and then I mm-hmm. and I the whole time I was just like. God damn. This is boring. <laughs> like, I loved writing about it, honestly, but the reading about it is what sucks. Mm. Like, I love writing this stuff, and I love, I like actually like the class because it's fun to get the new knowledge and interact with it and get my whole tangent. Issue is, is actually collecting that knowledge. Oh, dude, doing research is so boring. Yeah. Except for I don't have to do the research. They give me the articles and shit. It just sucks to read them. I like try and sit there and read them and then I'm on my phone for like 15 minutes out of the hour. <laughs> Close to the 30. Sounds, don't call me out like that. It's the same thing. <laughs> and it's like, the, it's like the day of and it's like 10 o'clock. I'm on my phone. I'm like, oh yeah, I can do five more minutes. <laughs> Matt, good or bad study habits? <laughs> he has good study habits. Good or, Matt. good or bad study habits. Do you actually pay attention or no? Uh, Depends. I mean, he was clearly wasn't paying attention here, but um, <laughs> dude, you should see what's happening in the tournament server. I'm just right. entertained right now. It's like a what, what happened. Uh, so we had a rule, like we had a rule in place where if you play like two teams from the same school play each other, then the higher team, like the higher ranked team. Bro, uh, I heard that. Yeah, Tony. <laughs> what? Thank you for that, bro. I heard that. Uh, <laughs> Nothing's going on. What? Anyways, hey, uh, we had a rule in place where uh, if two teams from the same school, the two the higher team would get a forfeit win, and all the like all the teams were going off like, no, this is stupid. Just let them play, and I was like, all right, like whatever. I messaged the two other admins with me was like guys just let them play like if anything it's those games will be more intense for the tournament mm. fair enough um, having to moderate it, chats TV already went great. Off. and also like w- we saw everything going down i'm just like i'm just sitting here watching like it's a movie like i'm enjoying this so much you just gotta be you got go grab the ice cream that tony just had you just gonna be sitting there like damn (laughs) my life a movie honestly though like (laughs) drama is so funny to watch when you're not in it yeah that's true i hate being part of drama but sometimes watching it can be entertaining so fucking funny like at work i'm just hearing everyone's bits of gossip and shit and I'm like looking at them, like, yeah, keep what going. I learned in the past like ten minutes is that Rocket League players are stupid, dude. Anyways, but like, yeah, I mean, fuck yeah, it's so funny because I don't have any drama on me because I'm the new person, right? So no one can start shit with me, which is good. Oh, they can. I use my height to my advantage to troll the other courtesy clerks. Uh, <laughs> I took a, How? I took another courtesy clerk's cheese balls and put them on top of the light. <laughs> so they couldn't reach them. <laughs> nice. It was really funny because it took them ages to find it. And like one of my other coworkers showed up high as fuck. Like you're just a menace to your own store. One of my sh- dude, one of my coworkers showed up so high it was funny. Like he he, he it took him like three tries to actually hear what you were saying to him. <laughs> Wonderful. And yeah, I mean it's. Most of the cashiers are old people, so like I'll talk to them and they'll be like, "Oh, you're so kind." I'm like, "Dude, I want to like run over people, please." <laughs> Respectfully, thank you. However, <laughs> like I'll be like, "Yeah, I mean, it'd be funny." And then like one of my managers was like, "Oh yeah, you have to take the active assailant video," and it's like, "I think it's bullshit." Personally, they said because it was like, "I just shoot the fucker." Uh-huh. Instead of throwing the gar- gun in a garbage can, and I was like, "I shoot him in the head." I was like, "No, no, no, no. Aim for the kneecaps. Much more painful." And they were like, no, no, no. Aim for the dick. And I, w- I couldn't do anything there. I, I was like, I feel like aiming for someone's dick is too far. 
But if they're trying to shoot you, I guess it's justified. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> you know? Like, it's like a... I don't know, man. You're on your own on this one. I don't, well, know. I don't know. It's like my, it was my it's my manager as well, so I'm like I don't know how to respond to this. Um. So I mean, fuck. But yeah, I don't know. My Funny workplace stuff, is though. wild. It's so weird. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> my uh, my coworkers are fun to say the least. <laughs> yeah. We all, we all, uh, no, genuinely though, I do love all my coworkers, but my God, we get up to some stupid crap. <laughs> I think tomorrow night I'm um, going to race my manager around on the electronic carts for the store. <laughs> I'm going to challenge my manager. Dude, I love doing that. Except instead of electric carts, we have whole ass forklifts. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Lucas, you got to be shitting me. Have you done this? <laughs> Please. I am forklift certified. Screw <laughs> off. <laughs> oh my god. I can, see, I can see some intense drag races happening. Dude, well, you know what's funny is like the max speed that those could go at is like 10 miles per hour, but we do it anyways. <laughs> Dude, that's so fucking funny. Because I mean, our store isn't that big. However, the area where the um, the small forklift is is basically the length of the entire store. Like there's one big long aisle way. So you can imagine that you can just press forward as far as it'll go on the little fork level. You just go zoom. Yeah. Pretty much. And that's about the noise it makes too. Cause when you like slam it forward, it's like, Yee! it's just like, you're like revving a fork. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, oh my god. Yo, Tony, what I, game are you playing? Fucking, it's not working right now. Shut up. What, do you, what game do you think he's playing? Minecraft. Destiny, bitches. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh so he hates himself either way. Ah. True, true. true. <laughs> Dude. But yeah, I mean, Ernie got me back into it. Like, we ran King's Fall last Sunday. It was pretty fun. I'm, I'm not surprised. Ernie drags everyone back into Destiny eventually. That's how I first met Ernie. Was it really? Yeah, Destiny was the first time I met Ernie. That's it was shockingly funny. on brand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Connect your ass or else I swear to God, I'll kill it. Are you good, Tony? Talking to my shit. Hold up. I'm sorry. Run that by me. Again. <laughs> it's on my Xbox. I'm trying to get it to work right now. Okay. God. Um, all right, cool. Well, hey, any other uh, any other stories from you guys recently? I just saw electricity flash in that socket. Uh, um, <laughs> that was worrying. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess that's fun. Like, I I mean, I guess not really, but also kind of because I've just kind of been vibing. Mm. Don't Fair that enough. much. Just been working um, on shit. But but I have almost been t-boned and i have almost t-boned someone in like the past week <laughs> what it all circles back to driving <laughs> yeah the first time the first time it was me almost t-boning someone it was because it was late at night and i was turning and this person pulled out of a driveway on the opposite side of the road behind me and then they sped up to get in front of me so i almost collided with them that way fun and then the second time it was a first, <laughs> it basically the same exact thing happened except for it was me that was speeding up but I, but the, the other person wasn't didn't see me, so ah. epic. Well, hey, <laughs> at least you haven't actually gotten into a crash. No, but my car has. That's the good part. The previous owners got in a crash and plastered over it without us oh. knowing. So cool. So yeah. Anyways, I don't know. In uh. I guess I can talk for a quick second since we're wrapping up soon here. Um, uh, not anything too horribly crazy, but I actually saved up to buy myself my own camera, which I'm super stoked about uh -huh. because uh, I don't know if you guys know, I was doing most of my photography off of a rented slash borrowed camera for the last like half a year. Um, and here, I can actually go grab it because I have it around the corner. Ugh. Ugh, this dude. 
Ah. So I actually have a proper camera now, nice. which is really cool. Are you getting your camera, camera, Tony? No. So actually, you know what's funny is that old light, or not old, but that rented camera I had actually I think was in my background on a couple older episodes. I think it was sitting back on that table. I'm pretty sure. You um, can see it. Nice. I'm pretty sure you can on, see on older idea. episodes, which is funny. So. I'm pretty sure you can see my photography stuff. Mm-hmm. You two do photography. Yeah, my, mine's all around the corner. Yeah. I draw. Yes. I draw. Bro, drawing is cool. I can't. I can't draw. I do everything on a computer. I, I have to do a hand because I don't have. A, I was actually. I was actually thinking of getting a drawing tablet before I get a PC. Uh, but I'm not sure because drawing tablets. I've looked at them and like they're pretty expensive, like four hundred dollar range. Uh, for a good one. Were you going to get one of the PC ones or would you just buy like a separate tablet, like a Samsung or iPad or thing like that? Yeah, like an actual one, like a Wacom or whatever. Wacom? Yeah, oh, okay, okay. That's the words. So, so, anyways, it's not big news, but I'm super stoked about this because um, I actually didn't buy this brand new. Uh, the story, basically, is that one of my coworkers is what we... So, okay, rewind. In our store, we have things called VPLs, which are basically vendor hired employees. So like, for example, if you're working in home theater, there's a Samsung employee who is actually paid by Samsung to rep their products. Me, I'm technically the Apple guy in our store for computers. Um, hmm. Whatever, yada, yada, yada. The background done. Our Canon guy who just got hired in, this was his camera. Mm -hmm. And he had, this was his personal device that he only had for about like two months. But when he got hired on, they gave him like straight up, didn't have to buy it, gave him a camera that was better than this, like the one step above model. They just got for free, basically, as long as he stays in that position. Oh. So he was like, well, I don't need both this one and the more expensive one. And this was the camera that I was looking into getting. So he was like, hey, do you just want to like buy my old camera body? I was like, yes. <laughs> nice. So TLDR, or I got this camera for like 40% off what I would have bought it brand new. And it had less than 2,000 photos taken on it, mm. which is for a used camera, really mm. damn good. So, because... I mean, depending on how much people use cameras for, they can well have like tens of thousands of photos on them. So very, very true. Hmm. So, anyways, I'm super stoked. That's my little tangent, I guess. Um, and then I was out at a a gig earlier today for a video shoot, completely unrelated. Uh -huh. but, all right, I'm boring both of you. Both of y'all look up from your phones and say something. Funny. I was. I was cleaning my nails. I'm listening. <laughs> I'm kidding. Give me the deets. What's the video shoot about? Oh no 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 no! It's it's nothing too crazy. It was like a it was a so second job, my contracting job. Um, I do editing for them, but then they have me come do video shoots to operate a camera as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so we there was like a dance performance that was happening up in like Fullerton area today that we set up for, which was cool. So we did, it was like a, it was like a two hour event. So I was gone for a while. Mm -hmm. That's the thing I was talking about earlier where it was like about an hour round trip drive. Cause it's about a half an hour there and then half an hour back. So it was, uh, it was fun though. But, uh, now the songs are like the, the rhythm from a lot of the, the, <laughs> the dance songs are going to be stuck in my head the entire night. I'm not going to be able nice. to sleep. <laughs> that's, oof. So. that's an oof, man. Fun stuff. So, but yes, main main thing, new camera. Gonna use this guy now. I'm super stoked. So, um, now I have to go have a good excuse. But I'm hoping to get some days off from work to go to go shoot with this at a uh, at some conventions or something like that because I like doing portraits. Fair so. enough. Mean. God damn, you could just like say, "Hey, fuckers." Let me let me take photos in the store for promotional shit. Sure, I could, but we also have literally all the other camera guys in our store True. that could do that. 
But you're the um, only one. I am office. way more on the hobbyist side of things, whereas they're like one of our camera guys is straight up runs like a photo studio. Oh. Like he actually makes his living off of photography. Ah, okay. So, so t- basically what I'm saying is there are way more qualified people to do that than me, but yeah, it'd still be fun. So true. Um, I think that's kind of, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've, we, I've already talked oh, about all my classes and stuff. There's nothing new there, but, um, anything else on you guys' end today? Uh, uh, Tony, what song are you singing? No. Tony. No. <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. I don't know what it is, but now I want to know. <laughs> Come on, Tony. <laughs> I love it. It's a stupid song. From <laughs> It's the me. It's from so long ago. Uh, can I put your balls in your jaw? Your jaw. Balls in your jaw. Can I? Can I? I don't even want to know. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard it, and I don't think I want to. <laughs> it's, it's a meme I song. I heard it. It's so dumb. I I, heard it very quietly from Tony singing it. I was like, hey, Tony. (laughs) For a second with the way Matt reacted, I thought you were going to be singing something stupid like the freaking the the Giga Chad song or something. Uh, What's it called? Uh, Something something heart. I don't remember now. Who knows? Uh, uh, Is it can you can you feel my heart? Is that what it's called? Is it? I'm going to. Yeah, can you feel my heart? I have that song in a playlist. By the way that I listen to very regularly, <laughs> nice. just gets gets giga chatted in the middle of nowhere. What the fuck, dude? I am I am okay with it. It's it's kind of a good like how do I describe it. It's like a good like angry song almost, like not to make you angry, but I don't know it's the same kind of feeling that like rock gives me, I guess. So. Anyways, yeah. side tangents aside, this has just been side tangent the episode. So, <laughs> um, for those of you who have made it to the end, I hope you enjoyed whatever the heck we talked about this uh, this episode. I paused at the perfect time. Uh, <laughs> so, anyways, as usual, uh, if you guys are watching us on YouTube, which you should because we're video related, uh, you can also check us out on Spotify and vice versa. Um, We've got individual channels linked in the description on either area. So check us out. Follow us there. Watch Matt be good at Rocket League. Um, Don't watch any of my videos because none of them are up currently. They don't exist. And I have one. I want to change that eventually. But damn, I am busy right now. Yeah. Um, So I think that's it for today, though. Any closing thoughts? I do have one thing. Uh, Sure. Check out uh, IVC Esports on Twitch. That is where all the all the streaming for the tournament will be held. So go check check the tournament that I've been working out for about a couple months now. And stay tuned in with the podcast to continue the saga of Matt's eSports. Yep. Nice. All right. Well, for now, though, everyone, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. All right? Peace.